Alright, so Eddie is dead. Now we're doing Marilyn's story. Let's begin. Okay, we're gonna start... Quiet Hotel. The group goes through an empty town with no supplies to be found and little zombie activity. One small hotel seems to have more undead roaming through it than the rest. Okay, good. So we don't have to go through much. And flashlight, not like I really need it. I'm gonna get her to look mostly like Marilyn. I did a fine job, but uh, her face is being hidden by the mask because of the virus going on. Oh, a hunting rifle. Save that for later. Probably best just to uh, scavenge all, all the room's medical supplies and ammo and stuff. They don't seem to be too aggressive. someone named Eddie. I doubt that would happen. Okay, I think we can head the road. Hit the road and get out of here. Let's go. Okay, two burgers, two med kits. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible out all night. Marilyn didn't mind it much. Felicia didn't mind it much. Don't always have to get every recruit unless we have lots of food. The group reaches the city as it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile, rile up the local zombies. Uh, let's go to the hardware store. Uh, let's go down here. buildings.
some gas. Is there anything that can really help me out with anything later on? This room's not gonna do anything. To explore. And I think I already explored this place. Oh, I guess not. Didn't lead anywhere. Yeah, let's head on out of here. You send me a gas, awesome. The group finds a professional car garage. The sign says car pros. They will they find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need some time to tinker. Repair and armor the car for two days. That sounds like a very good idea. Marilyn uses the scrap metal lying around to create some makeshift armor on the car. It takes a couple days. It looks like the armor is about to fall off the car at any time. Armor sort of up. Okay, mechanical increases from blah to ah. Uh. The group camps in the sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery lying around. This would be a great time to train with with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. The group needs to be some meal. Let's do some tinkering. Who should tinker with the broken machinery? I would say Marilyn. Marilyn spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. The group will be very tired tomorrow. Next time we stop, I should show you how to make snare, snare traps. Maybe next time I should show you how to shut your trap. The group has asked for help by a settlement. They say they will be raided by bandits soon. If the group helps with the defense, they will get rewarded of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. This could be very dangerous. Okay, I could help them with a shootout or build a fence. Merlin tries to build up the settlement's defense. She tells the settlers how to build fortification, fortifications in some weak areas. The extra defense seems to help a lot in the bandit attack. The settlers, the settlers are thankful for the help. Okay, we got 20 ammo, 15 food. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engage, engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. You have 16 food left. Okay, let's visit them. Why this strip club vibe? Is that Hanzo? Ah, uh, Hanzo. Hanzo is hanging around the camp. He has been waiting for you to show up. Frantic Weiner. Card. Well, he did betray Eddie, but he is a Karnat. Hanzo is glad to be back, and he joins the team. This man is selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I'm doing my part to keep civilization together, one anime sale at a time. Oh, and I can recruit him. Okay, so 
So I can rob the trader and food. Now let's do it. See what I get. If you're buying an anime figurine, it seems really expensive. I can tell you have an exquisite taste. Promotional offer just for you. Link. The group discovers a, an unsettling and filthy van. It has a sign that says EZ Medical College hanging crookedly on the back door. Inside is an unsettling and filthy dude in overalls. Well, who wants to learn about surgery? You have six food left. Do I have, oh, yes, I do have six. Oh, I could use charm. Felicia gets free medical training. Medical revealed as blah. And medical increases to blah. Alrighty. I don't believe there's anything else I can really do. Man is carrying several shotguns. Okay. Yeah, let's head on out. Hanzo said that he left, had his own car stash nearby and that it's a... Pr no, I'm not falling for that again. Just, just stay in the current car. I just upgraded this car. The group finds a new person, Thai. She is alone and she wants to join a team. Thai claims to be a, to be physically fit. She does a quick little dance, then Thai stops saying to recruit her to recruit her for more. Uh I don't know what she could possibly be asking, but let's uh let her join. What could possibly go wrong? The group accepts Thai to the team on word to Canada. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by roaming a horde. There's no escape, and let's try to survive. Give Hanzo the katana. And so I can have the hammer. We are all ready to go. Oh yeah, this is way better, more fun. This is not looking good for Merlin. Oh, I could go in here, awesome. Grab that, and then stay in here, and lock the door. Stay on the left side of the room. They actually got through. Okay, the seats are over. Awesome! Good strategy. Wait, walk back to the road. Okay, I guess I will have to. This cat food doesn't taste that bad. 
The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Let's go with medical. When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. Okay, so it's all pretty mediocre. Some of point earned, awesome. The group that sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover an ed edible berry bushes all, all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work and the sleepless night, but every every little bit could help. Go to sleep. The group really doesn't want to take berries for eight hours. If it doesn't rain, it seems to irritate the zombies. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make us a stop for supplies. Arcade. Oh, swarm arcade. Oh, that was a bad idea. The group spots an arcade if the dead completely swarm the inside of it. It's probably a bad idea to go in there, or is it? At least bring someone to watch your back. Ooh, oh, very thick. Why did I choose that? Okay. Probably go to a couple of rooms and head out. an unbroken prize machine you'd use to put a quarter in it and get something, now it's more convenient just to smash it. It's full of capsule cells and tiny toy gun. Smash it open! Merlin smashes the prize machine open. She takes one of the toys and immediately accidentally shoots herself in the eye. Ouch! An important lesson about firearms is learned and uh, her shooting is increased. Okay, so zombies broke free of that door. They okay, go over here. Everyone needs to rest. going much better for Marilyn. This arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear on how it can run without electricity. Marilyn considers taking a video game break while she is guarded. Okay. Marilyn plays an old arcade game named Ultra Death and really gets into it. Like all video games ever made, playing it increases your skill with guns. The critics were right. Before Marilyn knew it, two hours had passed. Oh no, I was going the wrong way. We need to get over here. Okay, oh, uh, food over there. over there. Did I go over here? Oh yeah, I did. Yes. Alright, that's gonna be everything for now. Goodbye.